This video is about the equation of motion of simple pendulum. Now, description of simple pendulum is this. A point mass attached with a massless string to a support. Now, if we displace that pendulum, there is no ideal pendulum in this world. It's just a description of that. Now, if we displace that pendulum from an angle theta, and the pendulum has a force acting vertically downward which is its weight which is mg and now if we look at this in here this is also theta and this is also theta because they are adjacent angles and if we look at this right angle triangle in here we will find out that this is mg this is its horizontal component which is mg cos theta and it is balanced by the tension of that string and a vertical component which is this mg sin theta and which will make the pendulum oscillate and now this mg sin theta will make the oscillations so the force is this f is equal to mg sin theta and it is taken as a minus sign because when the pendulum will reach its mean position it will have some momentum and it will make it move here and then uh, mg sin theta will try to move it back at mean position so the mg sin theta is always trying to make it move back to its mean position and that's what causing the oscillation and it is acting opposite to its motion so mg sin theta is taken as negative now as we know we derived the equation of motion of simple harmonic motion similarly we will put f is equal to m a and this m cancels this m so we got a is equal to minus g sin theta now look at this this is very interesting in here this mass got cancelled so there is a question which comes in lots of examination that does the mass of the pendulum affect its time period and the answer is no because there is no contribution of mass in its equation that's why mass doesn't affect its time period so the mass of pendulum does not affect its time period or its angular frequency we got this from this equation now acceleration is the double derivative of the position and now we will take sine theta as perpendicular upon hypotenuse from this right angle triangle now you will say that this is not a right angle triangle because when the pendulum will oscillate it will make arcs like this not lines. So now what we have to do? We will take it for very small displacement x. Now this equation of motion is valid for small oscillations in a pendulum. If we apply this equation for large oscillations then we will get error of some percentage. Now, for small oscillations, we will use the arc tan formula, which is sin theta is equal to x upon L. We'll put the sin theta in here, x upon L. We will take this L in here, and we got L d square x by d t square is equal to minus g x. And we will take the minus g x in here, and it will become L d square x by d t square plus g x is equal to zero. And this is the equation of motion of a simple pendulum. Now let's find out the time period and the angular frequency from this equation and it's easy if you watch the video on deriving the equation of motion of simple harmonic motion. Now from the equation of motion of simple pendulum we know that the under root of this thing right in here will give us the angular frequency of that pendulum and from here omega which is under g upon l we can get the time period which is t is equal to 2 pi by omega which is equal to 2 pi under l upon g now from this equation we can see that the time period of simple pendulum do not depends on the mass it depends on the length of the string and the acceleration due to gravity which is g if the acceleration due to gravity increases time period will decrease and if the length increases time period will also increase so this is how we can get the time period and angular frequency of oscillation in simple pendulum which is simple harmonic motion from its equation of motion of simple pendulum and we have also seen that this equation resembles to the equation of motion of simple harmonic motion and from that we have derived all this so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything